Hello buddies, are you ready for a journey through our digestive system? The digestive system is a long tube of organs that helps our body to break down and absorb food. It starts in our mouth and ends in our anus. Mouth The first step in digestion is chewing your food. When you chew, your teeth break the food down into smaller pieces. This makes it easier for your stomach to digest the food. Esophagus Esophagus carries food from the mouth to the stomach. Now, let's take a closer look at their functions with digitalized images. After you swallow, your food goes down your esophagus into your stomach. The third step in digestion is the stomach. Stomach churn and mixes food with gastric juice. Liver produces bile, breaks down fat and removes toxins. Gallbladder stores the bile the liver produces. Pancreas produces enzymes that help break down food. Now let's take a closer look at their functions with digitalized images. The stomach is a muscular sac that churns and mixes food with digestive juices. These juices help to break down the food even further. The liver is the largest organ in the body. It is located in the upper right quadrant of the abdomen. The liver has many functions including producing bile which helps to break down fats, storing glucose which is the body's main source of energy, detoxifying the body by removing harmful substances from the blood, producing proteins that are essential for blood clotting and other bodily functions. The gallbladder is a small pear shaped organ that is located under the liver. The gallbladder stores bile which is produced by the liver. When food enters the small intestine, the gallbladder releases bile into the intestine to help break down fats. Pancreas is a long flat organ that is located behind the stomach. The pancreas has two main functions, producing enzymes that help to break down proteins, carbohydrates and fats, producing hormones such as insulin and glucagon which help to regulate blood sugar level. Small intestine digests and absorbs proteins, fats and carbohydrates. Large intestine absorbs salt and water from food leaving a soft mass called stool. Now, let us take a closer look at their functions with digitalized images. From our stomach, the food moves into our small intestine. The small intestine is where most of the digestion happens. The walls of the small intestine are lined with tiny willy. These willy absorb the nutrients from the food and send them into our bloodstream. After the nutrients are absorbed, the remaining food waste moves into our large intestine. The large intestine absorbs water from the food waste and then stores it until we go to the bathroom. Rectum acts as a stool's temporary storage. Anus is where stool exits the body. Now, let's take a closer look at their functions with digitalized images. The last part of the large intestine is called the rectum. The rectum is where the food waste is stored before it is expelled from the body through the anus. The anus is a muscular opening at the end of the rectum. When you have a bowel movement, the muscles in the anus relax and allow the food waste to pass out of the body. Now that we know how the digestive system works, let's talk about how our food choices can affect our digestive health. When we eat healthy foods, our digestive system is happy.
the food is broken down easily and the nutrients are absorbed efficiently. This means that we feel good and have more energy. On the other hand, when we eat junk food, our digestive system is unhappy. The food is harder to digest and the nutrients are not absorbed as well. So, if you want to keep your digestive system happy, eat healthy foods. Here are some examples of healthy foods. Fruits and vegetables, whole grains and seafoods. And here are some examples of junk food. Candies, soda, fried and processed foods. So, next time you are at the grocery store, make sure to choose healthy foods that will make your digestive system happy. Thank you.